Hello, my name is Dr. David Hutchings. I am a neuropathologist and also the chief operating officer for uh, SpectraMed. And so I want to take a moment for us to talk about a very serious condition called um, ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Um, ALS is a, uh, is a progressive neurogenerative disease that affects the nerve cells in the brain and also the spinal cord. Um, an amyotrophic so actually comes from a Greek word, which is a, which was, means no, and myo refers to muscle, and trophic means that there's no nourishment. So basically there's no muscle, muscle nourishment. And at this point we get atrophy and the, and the muscles begin to shrink. Um, this has a profound effect on individuals um, from uh, multiple different um, areas in terms of mobility, able to feed themselves, walk, movements, um, and being that it is a progressive disease, it certainly does get worse over time. Um, treatment can help, uh, however, there is no cure. However, there are some things that we can focus on to certainly help. So I want to talk about three of those areas. Um, number one is communication. We certainly see that these patients have uh, a decreased ability to articulate and also begin to express wants and needs. And they begin to lose speech because of the motor neuron disease that they have. Um, so a lot of things we can do with that is working with um, uh, therapies to help with speech um, and also using techniques such as voice banking where we can actually record the patient's voice and then implement that into an augmentative communication device. And when that person or that patient unfortunately loses their ability to speak, they now have a communication device that will help speak for them, that will speak for them, that actually uses their own voice. Um, so that's very helpful and adds a lot of quality of life. Uh, next is cognition. Um, if you follow our weekly blog, we talk a lot about um, uh, dementia every single week. And I have covered and talked a little bit about the frontal temporal lobe dementia and motor neuron disease that we also see occur with some patients with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Uh, where we have cognitive loss, memory issues, uh, behavioral impairments, and of course, the motor impairment as well. Lastly, and most importantly, is going to be um, the loss of the ab patient's ability to swallow. And this is very critical because this places the patient at a significant risk for weight loss, dehydration, malnutrition, the development of wounds, um, but also the tremendous risk of uh, respiratory infection and pneumonia. So uh, one of the things that we offer at SpectraMed is, is definitely a new approach, a, tr a clinical program approach for the use of uh, biofeedback, surface EMG, and neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Uh, ALS is an extremely difficult uh, tr uh, disease to treat when it comes to swallowing because we have a, a tremendous fatigue factor that we have to be careful with. Um, if we fatigue the swallow, then what can happen is that the patient will have increased issues with swallowing and develop um, aspiration and eventually develop pneumonia. So it's very important when we treat dysphagia that we have a very therapeutic approach, a very functional approach, and an approach that's very designed for that patient. So when we look at our parameters for um, electrical stimulation, it's not a one-size-fits-all, okay? Because if we have a patient with ALS, that condition is much different from a neuropathology standpoint as opposed to maybe a patient with a stroke. Um, so it should not be a one-size-fits-all. And also the treatment should be extremely functional with keeping in mind that there are um, ramifications is, is if we push this patient too hard, we can create fatigue. So ALS is a, it's a condition that really affects a patient from a cognitive standpoint and also from a physical standpoint losing our ability for um, all volunteer, uh, voluntary muscle movements. Um, so it's a very serious condition. It is progressive. However, again, being that there is no cure, some of the treatments certainly can help uh, improve quality of life and safety for a patient from a communication standpoint, from a cognitive standpoint, and most importantly, an individualized approach to swallowing and dysphagia that's going to help increase and maintain nutritional needs and decrease the risk of aspiration. Um, thank you. And again, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you.